This is a video of one of my glazes called Antique Bronze. This is one example of it. I'll show you a few more later. But uh, I hope you can see this. All right. It's very, I get it in the sunlight here. You can see at the top, it's just a plain brown. That's what happens if you don't put enough glaze on. This wants to be put on thick, and uh, even running, it will help it. You can see how it looks up close. But I'll show you a couple other examples. This is another example of the uh, corroded green glaze. Uh, this one was dipped as well. You can see the differences in uh, color depending on how thick the glaze was. Over here it was fairly thin so it didn't get that corroded look still pretty neat looking you can see one thing you might want to do is dip it and then uh, dab on or put some runs in it and those runs will get uh, green. I'm gonna, I'll do that next time. This one is an example where I didn't get it heavy enough. I dipped it too quickly. The inside, uh, you can see, has some green on it. But the outside is uh, really just a brown. A couple of shades of brown. And there's a little dab where it's heavier. One other option is to uh, brush it on. And this is basically what you get if you brush it on. In a very un uneven appearance. Okay, that's a brush on. Probably could have done a better job of brushing, but it's very hard to tell. One thing this glaze does is uh, settle very quickly. I've tried adding bentonite, uh, but it still settles quite a bit. I might actually have it too thin, which would also make it settle out. And now to the formula. I hope that helps. Uh, this is the first and hopefully a series of uh, glazes that um, were started by the thought of Pirate Potter. Thank you Pirate Potter.